Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Manamicon 28 closing ceremony. Yet again, another awe-inspiring cheer from you all. Come on, welcome to the Manamicon 28 closing ceremony. That's better. I mean, I know this is very much the problem of everybody is really, really goddamn tired. <laughs> But gotta keep that last bit of energy going. Last bit of energy, yeah, energy going. Have you all had a good time thus far? Yeah. Good, glad to hear it. Right, we are going to kick off the closing ceremony as has uh, become uh, the habit in recent years with the grand final of the subpar robot wars for your entertainment pleasure. So Ty, if you would like to come and introduce this, please. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to subpar robot wars. This year has seen the most robots built with 12. We've already crowned a Rumble winner, but now we're here to crown the final, final champion. Because this, unfortunately, is the last Subpar Robot Wars event for a while. Well, thanks for, you know, letting me know about that after I said when what has become a tradition for the oh, <laughs> Cheers, man. Feeling like a real dick here now. God. <laughs> As is per character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I will hand you over to our colour commentator, Keiichi, who will introduce the robots. <laughs> Minamikon, are you ready for Sub Parmageddon? Yeah! Let's bring him out then. In the red corner. It's a crippling head on fight that you can't let win. It's a foe that will eat away at you for all of eternity. But you honestly, you cannot, you must not, you will not, you cannot give in to anxiety! We need you to be more anxious as you come up. <laughs> and in the blue corner, it's a number one by legends, be it in their own lifetime, lunchtime, in their own mind. Cantona, Beckham, Elway, Ronaldo, even JJ Reddick. But some of them had the, none of them had the vision to rise above the way that one individual has. Back to avenge their defeat last year. Give it up, make some noise for Seven I George! <laughs> There's more. Ooh. Where did he come from? Where did he go? We finally found out. It's Colin I. Joe! 400 platoons on the newcomer. <laughs> he is going to die. <laughs> You'd be surprised. He actually made it through the entire war. He was damn it unscathed. <laughs> But this is for all the marbles this time. Oh, look at him go! Oh, he's doing the best he can. Show, show him the controller, it's just so cute. Kill him! <laughs> the audience demands blood. So in, the blue, in the red corner, anxiety. In the blue corner, Seven Eye George and Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> and in the yellow corner, for the Manami Corn House Robots. If the pincers don't get if the pincers don't get you, the contracts will. It's free hugs! Robotiers, stand by. Robotiers are ready. Three. The house robots ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it! Cotton Eye Joe runs straight into... Oh! Okay. Oh no. Oh, that's not going well. The humanity. Oh! Oh, that's harsh. Oh! Poor little star! That's not on. Both anxiety and George seem more interested in going after free hugs than anyone else. <laughs> But they'll start to see who the real villain is. Come on, make some noise! Let's hear it! For Let's hear it for Seven Eye George! Go on, anxiety! 
Marjorie, you can do it. Take him out. Come on. Just hyperfixate. You'll be fine. Three hosts on the side of which side he's on. He is going after George. He's on the side of anxiety. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> Almost pinned in his corner there. No! But George still fighting strategically. Ooh, ooh. Trying to get himself wedged under, underneath anxiety's front, front flip. Oh! And, oh, that's a fit. That's a dodgy move there from George. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, Green Hope is getting out of restless, he's wanting some action. And as I did, he's just not getting the purchase of the Georgia's for a wheel. Oh, that's very dangerous for anxiety, right over the pit. Got to be getting close to that flipping over the top. George almost got him! Just not getting the traction, he's getting pushed over. <laughs> Possibly the most consequential battle in the big battle is across the three hooks gets to clapping. Oh! Oh, that's harsh. Oh, oh, the pin opens! The pin opens and anxiety is mirrored! Both, both George and Free Hugs are where you're falling in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to call it at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's your call out. The winner of Sub Par Robot World, Sub Par Magellan, 7 I Did everyone enjoy that? So, as I mentioned, this is the last one that I'm running for a while. Um, boo, boo me, I know. Um, I need a break. This has been three years and it has only gotten from strength to strength and I can't thank enough the people who took part in it. This was a stupid... This, this was a, a stupid little idea of mine. It was like, why don't I just bring robots to an anime convention? What could possibly go wrong? Several hours later... <laughs> it's the singularity, we're all gonna die! <laughs> So all I can say is, it will be back. It's not going to be back next call. Might not be back the following. I need a bit of time. But, but soon, and for the rest of your lives. <laughs> so, I would like to present Seven Eye George with the last trophy that I'm going to make. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Your subpar Robot Wars champion for 2023, Seven I George! <laughs> Big round of applause for Ty and the whole team! And now scheduling can breathe a sigh of relief because I've removed a four hour chunk of, you know. Good job. For our chunk of what exactly? <laughs> On robot walls. All right, cool, cool. Well, thank you very much. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah! Yes! I love how the children thirst for blood the most. It's, just, it's, it's heartwarming, it's heartwarming. Our crack technical team is now going to uh, reset the cameras for the uh, next phase of the closing ceremony. But I think, sorry, what? Yay! Okay, but we're going to uh, move into the... Uh... <laughs> Oh, what's going on behind me? It's fine, it's fine. 
No, we, we are going to do uh, an announcement now to do with the three-minute presentation challenge. If Mr. Wotton Davies could come up. Oh. <laughs> Behind you. Sorry. Is it on? We're all professionals here. Hello. Hello. Right. So, uh, first of all, thank you to everyone who took part in the three minute presentation challenge. If you haven't heard of it before, I haven't been shouting enough, we get 10 people to come up and give a presentation on something mostly related in some sense to Minami in three minutes. It's awesome fun. Uh, if you want to face the cupcakes of glory, uh, then there's a link for how to do so on the Minami Facebook group. Anyway, uh, we just wish to announce uh, the winner of the time challenge for how many times she's managed to do it. Tabby, who managed to do the presentation. This is with no timekeeping device available to them in any way, so they've got to do it all off how long they think they've been speaking. With an impressive 2 minutes 51 seconds. Yeah. Tabby does not mess around. No, the goal is to finish in 3 minutes, ideally not over. And she is ruthless. She is. Ruthless. Fucking machine. I will beat her one day. <laughs> also winning, uh, Tabby managed to win the most presently award for how the Greeks invented the OG magic girls. <laughs> with footnotes. It was very informative. Very informative. Uh, in the info amazing category, uh, Stephen managed to win with how festival stages are put up. Which is the most vertigo-inducing selection of images we have ever seen. <laughs> it was terrifying. And Stephen apparently just hangs like some kind of monkey from the ceilings of multiple it was almost tall structures. It was almost as terrifying as the aftermath of the event. Uh, we won't be using party cabins next year. <laughs> I'll be coming up with a far worse idea. Anyway, we now have the special, the most contested and the most fought over, even though there's no rule set for it, special nominations, which were, in third place, Chris for Outstanding Cats Photography in a talk about the Japanese gardens of England. <laughs> In second place, we have Sam for destroying the hope of sleep whilst discussing magic tricks. <laughs> and in first place, for heartwarming subject matter whilst talking about the already heartwarming our flag means death, we have, by a frankly ridiculous margin, Harriet, come and clean your puppy of glory! We will be looking for 10 people to have another crack at this at the next one, so say you want to have a go and it'll be lovely. Oh, you've got the full list of nominations she received. Well, yeah, it's, this, is, most this is seriously list. the most wholesome thing I've encountered in what is generally a very wholesome convention, but yeah, the... Because as part of the uh, special nominations, you had to come up with your own award name for it. And I'm just going to go through the highlights reels of some of the ones for Harriet. It was the, uh, the Heartstring Prize, Most Wholesome Presentation, Most Wholesome Content, Heartwarming and Wholesome, <laughs> Finding Hope in OF, Our Flag Means Death, Best Choice of Subject, Bundle of Greatness, and I Just Want to Hug Them. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And whoever said that Godzilla was better than Skull Island, um, meet me outside, okay? <laughs> I've taught you nothing. Anyway. Thank you, Andy. Big round of applause. Okay, we are now going to move on to the locked room puzzle prize. If the organisers of that could come up and lay their news upon to the crowd. Greetings. Right, um, for those of you who don't know, we get four people shoving in the room with loads of bits of cardboard and tat and see if they can find out Make how, them to do stuff. how to escape. Um, but we were considering not running next year. No. 
<laughs> it's been quite difficult for us this year. Usually one of us has something that gets in the way with life. This year, pretty much all the entire team had something that got in the way. So it was quite a big struggle for us this year. And then they talked about a yokai theme. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> So we're going to have, go away, have a discussion and see, because obviously we don't want Subpart Robot Wars and us to leave. That would be a massive gap in the schedule. Yeah, if the rest of this closing ceremony is everybody just announcing <laughs> they're not doing anything again. <laughs> yeah, we'll just finish off the convention that way, we'll just be Pete like, this is the last one. Get out. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll see. It better not be. <laughs> we're going to have a talk and we'll, we'll have a think. Anyway, 11 teams decided to come into our Lure of Doom and see what happened. Six of them actually... Oh yes, and Meng. Special mention to Meng in a minute. Meng doesn't need a team, they just solo this stuff. Um, so yes, 11 teams, six escaped. Meng on her own got through three quarters of it. So... So that's perfect for one of these pictures if there's ever a team with Meng. It's Meng's team at full strength. Yes. And then, yeah. <laughs> Meng te Meng's team at 75%. Strength. Inundated yeah. next year, Meng. <laughs> so we're going to go through who actually managed to escape. Just times, and then I'm going to give the runner-up and then first place. So they get 45 minutes with eight seconds left. Ooh. It was the sixth place. 15 seconds was fifth place. 20 seconds was fourth. 57 seconds was third. In second place, with 1 minute 29 to spare, was Team Ragtag. And in first place, with enough time to do a 3 minute talk, at, at 2 minutes 44 to spare, Team Question Mark, come and claim your prizes. Or don't come and claim your prizes. Is anyone from Team Question Mark here? I think we put Question Mark down. They put Question Mark. So who indeed is Team Question Mark? Come on, Sarah, bring your group out. Nikki. Uh, we had, we did let them out, didn't we? It's always great when the prize winners are in the closing ceremony. It's fantastic. Okay, so in honour of the fact that the prize winning team is not here, we're going to stand awkwardly for about five okay. seconds. <laughs> and give them a round of applause. I said five seconds. <laughs> so, thanks again. I'd particularly like to thank the team. So we've got Zay, Des, Annette, Dom, and myself who I'm not going to give my name. <laughs> it's Phil. <laughs> but we'll have, a, we'll have a discussion and maybe, maybe not, we'll see how we're feeling mentally. But thank you. Well, what they don't know is that we are actually going to lock them in a room now until they decide to run it again. <laughs> Right, uh, next uh, we have to, we are announcing the Body by the Bookshelf Prize. If Morag and Sergey would like to come up. Sorry. Where's the other microphone? Leave it over there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this was the, if anyone saw the pictures that were around the convention, there was just five of them. And they went with the comic and the con book, which didn't finish if you read it. Um, and if you would like to read, it, read, the, read the end of it, we have the one and only copy, the only existing one with the end of it, to give to the winner of the person who guessed who knocked over the pot plant, who is... Do we have a name? I don't know, you're the one announcing the prize. Well, no, it's not the end of the prize. I believe the name is Susan. It is Susan, right? It is Susan. Please bear with us a moment while we continue to impress you all with our consummate professionalism. I let them collect the thing. Hey, well done. Thank you for it. So if you ask nicely, she might show you the comics to find out what happens. Thank you. Thank you very much. A round of applause for the Body by the Bookshelf team.
Okay, obviously you might have noticed that the theme of the convention was based around detectives and murder mysteries, and in that theme we did have the Manami murder mystery going on this weekend, in which there were clues liberty, liberally distributed, I think in the con book around the convention, in order to work out who killed Brad Pitt. <laughs> Bread Pitt being the sole surviving flower baby from the massacre prior to the before times. For those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, there was a... You know what? It doesn't matter. A load of people had to look after some bags of flour. We killed them all, bar one, and who has apparently been killed as part of this Cluedo-esque murder mystery challenge. So... Why are there sheets of paper? The, uh, the culprit in this heinous crime has become clear, it was apparently Meng with the Pico Pico hammer in the masquerade. <laughs> Meng, how could you? How could you? Shame, shame. Oh, oh, <sighs> plot twist. But this letter just arrived and it's not the ravings of the madman, so bear with me. Dear Manamicon, Bread Pitt here, the Bakery Fairy has informed me that your ceaseless efforts have brought the case of my untimely demise to a close. I have to admit I did not expect anyone to do so, especially after I went to so much effort to frame the committee. <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree they had it coming though, bunch of dicks. As you can probably gather, I am not dead. Well, you're a bag of flour, it's open to debate, but okay. I had simply reached the end of my tether. At first, the world was sweetness and light. I was cared for, clutched gently to the bosom of my adoptive family. I dreamt of one day becoming donuts. But then, the terror started. I was crammed into a tiny plastic box. I saw my sibling loaves to be murdered before my eyes. I was told over and oven to just get into the damn mech. It was too much. There was no way I could rise to my true yeasty potential like this. Yeah, God, so many puns. So I chose to fake my death and escape to a farm in in Hokkaido. They don't have mechs here or gruesome wheat produce or gruesome wheat product death games. Just cows and fields and the great detective who popped in to visit the other day and says hi. By the way, I like it here, so I think I'll stay a while. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here a while. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. We can do this. We can do it up. Maybe one day when things have calmed down, I'll return and we can all watch Funky Cat, maybe. Yay! Don't cheer, like, you weren't there at the start. You don't know how it was. <laughs> and maybe laugh about the terrible mental scars you have given me and how I nearly got one of the committee arrested for murder. Until then, goodbye. Ooh. Thank you, Brad Pitt, for that heartfelt message. Okay, so I'm a bullet. I believe I'm able to now announce the winner of the murder mystery. Am I correct in that assumption? I do have something written here, so okay. So the winner who submitted the correct answer at Sunday at 34 minutes past two is Team Toothy Cat. Woo! So if you could come up to the front and collect your prize. Oh. Fix, fix. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the the murder the murder mystery. Uh, oh no, you were just walking by. Cool. Right, the, the the whole murder mystery thing was the effort of a lot of people planning this many months in advance to entertain you all. So I'd like you to give a big round of applause for everyone who put in all the hard work to make that happen. Thank you. By, by, by many people, it was all just them. Okay. This is information that would be useful to know beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that giggle, yes. <laughs> right, next up we are going to announce uh, this year's winner of the Ewan Award. If Babbitt could come up and give us the details. Unless Babbitt has chosen this precise moment to disappear on us, because yes, yes of course. <laughs> because this is how we roll at Minami. <laughs> Whenever you want someone there, they won't be there. Whenever you want your tech to succeed, it will not succeed. Yeah! <laughs> Pete's just like, nah, leave me out of this. You won't catch me doing anything to do with the convention. <laughs> ah, here we are. Drink in hand. Oh, <laughs> come on, Babbitt. Big round of applause for Mr. Late here. <laughs> Hello.
Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, so, uh, my job is to present the Ewan. Now, the Ewan is given in memory of our departed treasurer, Ewan Crystal, who passed away some ten years ago. And he was the father, the brother of all of the gophers. He was really a absolutely amazing man who could resolve any conflict and get everybody working together. And there's too few of those nowadays. Now, we've had many winners of the Ewan over the last few years. However, there's one person who's really deserving. In particularly this year, he's very deserving. And I'm very happy to say that he's standing over there in a the large hat. Yes. Hi, Mort. I, I thought this one had tactically dodged me. Uh, I've been done by everything else, including co I am cosplayed, so I thought that one would all happen. But I am highly honoured to be given this by the guy who introduced me to gophering all those years ago. Thank you very, very much. I adore how wholesome this convention is. <laughs> okay, so uh, some announcements about the Con charity now. Uh, the charity donations this year are going to be split between Cancer Research UK and the British Heart Foundation. This year's split is to honour our dearly departed gopher and friend, Martin Russ, who has brought much joy with his fiendish door puzzles in recent years. That was a somewhat harsh loss for a lot of people and by all accounts he has already put a door puzzle on the pearly gates much to St Michael's annoyance <laughs> but yes so far we have raised £1,470 for charity from the Coogee and auction sales so thank you you generous generous people I'm assuming the final total will be more because there's other other stuff I mean are we doing the bag thing or no okay if you okay Cool. But yes, uh, moving on, uh, you, you generous, generous, wonderful people. Uh, there, I presume that you have enjoyed this event because you seem quite enthusiastic about things, yes? Yeah. Would you be possibly be interested in other events like this that sure. you could also go to? Because yeah. we've, we've got a few that uh, would like to say a few words. I think first off we have the reps from HitaruCon if they would like to step up.
that came to HotaruCon last year? Yes. yes! Who's already registered for this year? Woo! Yes! Okay, so we have uh, a lot of your favourites. We have fanart panels, which are now open for applications. Woo! We have vendors, which are now open for applications. Woo! You're getting the tone of this now, aren't you? <laughs> no, but we've got other stuff. We've got a photo booth. We've got the bring and buy. We've got the masquerade. We've got cosplay chess which is being run by Tabby, who I adore. We've got a cosplay cafe, which is being run by Joy. Yes! <laughs> See Joy, that's, that's not my purview. <laughs> and we've got some other really exciting stuff that we are working on behind the scenes to bring some new stuff to the table. So, if you are looking for an event in sort of November-ish time, from the 3rd to the 5th, uh, so November then. Yeah, so November, about November, cool. November. you know, then... November, then, uh, yeah, pretty sure November. November. Yeah. Yeah. November. Just, just so you all remember, it's in November. <laughs> we are at, we're at the Leonardo Hotel that was formerly the Jury's Inn. I do have to specify that, we have already had people asking if we have moved. We have not, the hotel has rebranded. Then we had people asking us if the hotel was renovating. <laughs> no, they just stuck a new name on the front. That was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah I mean, the new sign is lovely. <laughs> it's like we could overhaul the whole, whole hotel, or how about to give us that extra air of class, we'll just name it after a Renaissance painter. Yes. Well, I heard that you can't stay there for more than 25 nights, but that's... <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not an appropriate joke. <laughs> Anyway, so if you haven't been before, uh, the hotel's really nicely situated. There's all the amenities you could ask for around it. There's like 101 places to eat. We're just up from the Milton Keynes train station. There's reasonable car parking. Like, literally, it's, it's great. Um, the whole city is a car park. <laughs> well, I'm not even being facetious. It literally is a car that park. That is true. That is, that is unfortunately true. But, you know, there's only so much to be Because the best part about Hotaricon is you won't want to leave the, the convention because otherwise you'll be in Milton Keynes. <laughs> If you are interested in adding this to your convention roster, our registrations are open and you can scan that QR code now and just, you know, buy a ticket, be really snazzy, I love you. Love you <laughs> Thank you, Harriet. I love you. I love you. I love you, random citizen. Anyway, <laughs> I have waffled long enough. Thank you, Hataru Thank you. Okay, next up, the folks from Kitacon would like to uh, say a few things. If Ian would like to step up. Hello. There we go. Hello. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me. I was told five minutes before coming to the event that I was writing something, so... Uh, anyway, first of all, uh, if you came to Quiz Smash last night, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Um, don't worry, it is definitely coming back to the next Minami and a few more cons coming up later on this year. Uh, but there is more quizzing to be done because it's getting combined with a, a convention that I am part of still, Kinecon. And at the moment, we are in the process of working on a special online event where we are throwing down the gauntlet to the other residential cons on the circuit. So oh! that is HatarraCon. That is also, I know they're not here, there's also CockroCon, yeah. Cars Expo, uh, Ami, Woo! Toko, Woo! and the gaunt is also down to Manami as well, if you'd like to take part. And do have a big quiz. That's what we're going to do. Right. Yes. We're going to get together all friendly like. Yeah, they're going to get all friendly like, and then they're going to have a big clash with Quiz Smash Clash of the Conventions. Ooh, so we are aiming to stream this on the KitCon YouTube and Twitch channels in the summer. Uh, and we're also going to use it as a fundraising activity as well, so we're going to do some good fundraising for charity as well. Uh, we hope to share more details of this very, very soon. We are still in the process of just ha hammering out dates and logistics. And this will lead into 2024 plans for the next KitCon. So that's it from me for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, well, like I said, have a lovely mountain. Uh, See, yeah, I'm don't worry, I know exactly what that's like. Yeah, I, I'm, like, yeah. I'm really not prepared this time around, but anyway. When is Kitter? 2024. 
And that's all I can say, because I don't know anything more. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's coming very soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. To a fair near you. No, wrong voice. Uh, but yes, enjoy the rest of your Mananicon. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Okay, and I believe the lovely people from Tokonatsu would like to say a few words at this point. I say lovely in the loosest sense of the word. <laughs> I'm going to stand over here now. <laughs> do, do you want to get anything out of your system while you're, while you're there? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Hello, Minami. How are you all doing this evening? Woo! Oh, I love doing that. Who's been to Top and Atsu before? Woo! Shout louder. Thanks. Woo! That's what I like. Right. Top and Atsu. So, a bit different to uh, what you used to. We're in a field. So it's um, tenting, camping. It's, it's a festival. We have lot. Why? Because, because someone stole the hotel it was originally in. <laughs> so you, you but they the... won't leave the site. They're that committed. <laughs> Sorry, carry on, carry on. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm used, used to making a tear myself at Toko anyway, so that's fine. Um, so we have lots of events at Tokonatsu. Obviously, the main ones that we have are the masquerade. We have um, we've got kimonos. We have kimono ceremony. We have tea ceremony. That can happen sometimes. Someone will shout at me from Toko if something's not happening. We do, um, even though we're in a field, fighting game tournaments. We have a tent set up, so if you like to sort of get your sort of uh, finger muscles out, push those buttons and punch someone right in the face. We usually have smash. What else do they have, Colin? Was it? Was it? Oh, yeah, you're hiding there. Stand up. Yeah, stand up. Put Come on, Colin. Up. Show everyone your Put lovely, your lovely face. face. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Get up. He's shy. Oh. That's Colin. Colin. Come on, audience, get behind. Go. Come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. Come on, boy. Come on. Colin. 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 Yeah. There he is. So that lovely man has also been running the, the games sort of room at Minami. So if you've seen him about, he's the one who gets me up here to talk about Toko and make an absolute film of myself. Um, but going back on track, so we do other events. We have obviously the campfire, we have food vendors. So you're not going to go hungry, you're not going to expect you to venture into the wild and hunt your own food and gather berries. You can if you want, wouldn't recommend it. Just don't, it's not a problem. But we have so Grumpy much going for on. Kebabs. So, so. <laughs> More likely than you think. <laughs> you might have seen some of these littered around the con uh, for the weekend. If you haven't seen one of these, you're really, really, really bad detectives, but everything's all on there. So, Thursday, 10th of August to the Monday, the 14th of August of this year will be Tokonatsu's 20th anniversary. Woo! So, it's a special one for us. Um, feel free to go on the website. Ticket prices are on the website starting from £65. We do have cheap options available as well if you want to have a day pass. Um, I'm going to stop talking because I'm running out of ideas and I'm very, very scared that he's going to rip the... No, 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 it was good. It was good. I liked it. I mean, your poise, your delivery, it was exquisite, exquisite. I'll be, I'll be dreaming of it later. <laughs> do, do, I, do I get an invite? No. No, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> who, who did say that? Oh, okay. Who do you think? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get off the stage. Thank you very much. Right. Big round of applause. Okay, while well, we're on the topic of conventions, uh, if you have any feedback about MinamiCon, uh, you can submit it to our email address at feedback at minamicon.org.uk. But there's a couple of things, because we did make some changes this year that I'd like to get some kind of feedback off you via the form of cheering if you enjoyed it. So let me just see what we want feedback on. So we want to hear what you think about the Matsuri Artist Alley. Woo! Did you like that? Would you like to see that come back? Yes! Did you like the food? Yes! Would you like food again? Yes! Yeah, feed, feed, feed a weed, they'll always come back. Yes, yes. It's the, it's the only decent meal I've had all week. Yeah, okay. Right, but yeah, if you have any other, if you have any other specific feedback, please use the feedback at manamicon.org.uk address. Now... <laughs> Would you be interested in possibly Minami Con 29? Yeah! Yeah! 
Yes, if you like an army enough to want to come back next year, the dates are... The 8th to the 10th of March! It says Manamicon 29 here, why are you saying... Are you what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> My question was not about the. I can. It's written there. I can see the dates. I thought you were saying it was Minamicon 28 again next year. I'm like, no. It's Minamicon 29. Please stop. You know, interrupting my funky verb. <laughs> I mean, I've, God, no, just really threw me out of the zone now. Make up for the, the year we lost in the batch. <laughs> God. We don't talk about the, the in-between times. Right. Okay, yes, the dates for Manami next year are the 8th to 10th of March 2024. The pre-registration link slash QR codes are scattered around the hotel lobby area and will be live until midnight tomorrow. The theme for next year is yokai. They're going to tempt fate and bring out the demons, yeah! Okay, I think we're almost about ready to wrap this up. I just want to give some final thank yous. First, the hotel staff, as ever, have been super efficient at ensuring the event ran smoothly. Thank you to them. Also, all our brilliant event hosts who put in the time and effort to enable the event schedule for all members to enjoy, because these are all people volunteer their, volunteering their free time to entertain you, so thank you to them. All the artists who contributed artwork to the con and to those who participated at the Artist Alley and the Matsuri on Friday night, big cheer for them. Yeah. All the dealers who have taken your money. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> yes. Uh, DDI UK, as usual, for an excellent games room and all the support with tech at the Masquerade. Of course, our Gopher team, who's helped throughout the weekend with all the insane asks of building things, setting up, taking down, all the other miscellaneous things throughout the weekend that we always ask the poor beluged gophers to do. This convention would not run without them. We love you all. Thank you. And of course, finally, the very reason we do this, you lovely people, without this, this event would not be possible. And it is always a joy to see you coming back every year and having a good time. I go to a lot of conventions and hands down, Minami is pretty much my favourite because everyone is so warm, welcoming, wholesome as hell. Harriet, love you. <laughs> <laughs> so big cheer to you, the audience. Yeah! Right, so convention is not quite over. Obviously the Kitatsu Lounge will be setting up soon and we have the retro Oki, but otherwise enjoy the rest of your night. See you at the bar. Thank you all. Yeah!